Adult golden-eyed lacewings look harmless. Light green and fragile, they have delicate clear wings and their tiny heads don't look like they could bite. They hang around flowers and mainly try to get out of the way when something big and hungry comes along. They are common in late summer and the most striking feature is their eyes, golden or copper colored, from which they get their name. Some lacewings are predatory but you see right away that only the smallest and weakest insects need worry. It's the young lace wings that are noteworthy. Called larvae at this life stage, they are nicknamed aphid lions for their ravenous appetites and fearsome attacks on anything they can seize in their jaws. And those jaws are impressive. Long hooked needles act like pinchers and they serve two functions. First, they inject their prey with powerful digestive juices that can liquefy an aphid's internal organs within 90 seconds. Once that happens, they suck out the victim's body, leaving only an empty shell. And then they find another. Lacewing adults lay their eggs at night, often in or near aphid colonies on flowers. Their stalked eggs are beautiful and unique. Green at first and then fading to a dull gray just before they hatch in about four days. It's thought that the stalks help protect developing lacewing eggs from predators on the leaf surface. The tiny hatching larvae look like baby alligators and they immediately ascend the stalk to begin hunting. They may travel up to a hundred feet looking for their first meal, an enormous distance for such tiny insects. However, most often they find food on the leaf where they're hatched. Initially, they eat tiny organisms like spider mites, baby aphids, or insect eggs. Later, their main diet is adult aphids, of which they'll consume about 600 during three weeks of feeding and molting to larger sizes. Their hunting style is a bold, slashing march through dead and living aphids that is fascinating to watch and their own kind aren't safe. Here a small lacewing larva wanders into a feeding situation and is quickly driven away. Cannibalism is common. Aphids under stress may exhibit a special warning response. Small structures on the aphids abdomens, called cornicles, exude drops of smelly substance to alert nearby aphids to trouble. Attack by a predator like an aphid lion often causes this warning, so that some aphids may drop safely from the plant. Here, a monarch egg laid on a milkweed is found and attacked before its caterpillar can hatch. In a couple of minutes, the egg contents are sucked dry, leaving a ragged hole to tell the story. Lacewings pupate on a plant leaf for about five days before emerging as adults. The last summer generation overwinters in the pupal stage, and adults that hatch in spring live four to six months, which is a long time for most insect species. Female lacewings lay about 200 eggs during their lives. Because they are voracious predators of many crop and garden pests, lacewings are considered beneficial insects. In fact, some gardeners buy lacewing eggs to scatter among their plants for biological control. Common in Kansas, lacewings are great examples of a natural force in nature's checks and balances. I'm Mike Blair in the Kansas Outdoors.